Welcome to the Loughborough Physics Laboratory. My name is Dr. Sean Allerton. I'm a university teacher here in the physics department. And today I just want to talk to you about the labs themselves and what kind of thing you can expect from the laboratory classes here at Loughborough. So experimental physics is a very important part of the physics discipline. And it's here that we get to investigate the laws of nature. Uh, so we get to test our hypothesis by designing experiments, acquiring data, and seeing if our theories that we've learned about in the lectures and read about in textbooks really hold up to, to scrutiny when we test them. Now you get a lot of time during the course to hone those skills. Um, there's a lot of laboratory classes during the three or four years that you may be with us. Now, you'll notice I, I used the word design a moment ago. By actually designing your own experiments, you get a much better understanding of what, what you're doing and why you're doing it. So, for example, what area of physics are you investigating? What measurements do you need to take in order to investigate that area of physics? What equipment do you need to perform those experiments? Uh, how will the design of the experiment affect the results that you get out of it? And how are you going to analyse it? So by starting from the beginning and making some of those decisions and ideas for yourself, it will give you a much better idea of why you're performing that experiment and a better understanding of the data that you get out of it. So rather than just giving you a step-by-step -step series of instructions, we'd much rather give you a hypothesis to test and then some resources in order to design an experiment, build some instrumentation, in order to carry out that experiment for yourself. Now that may sound a bit daunting at first, but we'll give you lots of time to practice. So to begin with, you might be starting off with something nice and simple, like how to measure the acceleration due to gravity. Fairly basic bit of physics, but there's lots of different ways that you can perform that experiment. So by giving you freedom to test out lots of different methods, it gives you a, a good chance to uh, practice that design process. And then as we build up through the weeks, by the end of the course, you might be using uh, video tracking software in order to analyze the chaotic motion of a, a system that you've designed and constructed yourself. So it starts off a bit more approachable, but becomes more complicated as we, we go along. So in addition to the, the lab classes building up week by week, we also have designed it so that the, the lectures and the lab classes should be closely aligned with each other, so that the theory that you're testing in the laboratory is something that you've learned in lectures around the same time during the course. And so the aim is that by the end of it, you should be a nice all-around experimental physicist who can plan, design, and carry out and analyse your own experiments. Okay, so this is the physics laboratory. This is the, the place that you're going to do most of the experimental work while you're on the, the physics course here at Loughborough. You've got a, a wide variety of different resources and equipment available for you to use for your experiments. I'm just going to have a bit of a look around and look at some of those equipment while we're here. For example, we've got some recording equipment here where we can look at different frequencies of vibrations, perform some Fourier analysis. If you're looking at the properties of materials or acoustic experiments. Another of our piece of equipment is nuclear magnetic resonance. So this is the fundamental physics behind things like MRI scanners in hospitals. Um, so using this we can investigate the, the properties of materials again. So this is our muon scanner. Muons are subatomic particles. There's millions of them whizzing around us at any given time. And using a piece of equipment like this, we can detect them, analyse them, count them, and work out some of the properties of those particles. We also have an optics area where we can do experiments such as Michelson interferometry using lenses, lasers, uh, that kind of thing. So Michelson interferometry is the basic science that underpins something like the LIGO experiment to look at gravity waves. So in this room we've got a number of different 3D printers. Part of the design process for your experiments, if you want to create bespoke bits of equipment, 
um, and then we can design those in CAD, so computer assisted design, and then come down to here and print them out using the 3D printers. And here we just have a, a few examples of things that various people have 3D printed over the years. So the different colours and different materials are just an indication of the different kinds of 3D printers that we've got available from a, a quick and simple print from an Ultimaker to a, a fairly detailed print from a, a Form 2 printer. So now down in the workshop, it's uh, another room with STEM math that you'll be able to access during the course of your degree here at Cobra. Normally I'd be in full PPE, I've got goggles, but for an open day, uh, it's away without. Depending on how you want to design your experiments, one piece of equipment you have access to is the laser cutter. So you could design something on computer assisted design, say wood or acrylic, and come down here and use the laser cutter in order to cut those out using your experiments. If you want to design some of your equipment out of, for example, sheet metal, then you may need to use something a bit more impressive like our high pressure water jet cutter here, which has the power to cut through a wide variety of materials which you may want to use in your experiments.